against Rosa. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, Napster and Yeti, I believe this is like winner's quarters or semis. Um, because these two are seated to go pretty far in the bracket. Yeah. Dude, I love I love Yeti's Toon Link, man. Yeti, a Minnesotan player. Um, not sure where he's ranked exactly. I know his region is Sippy Boo. No, I'm just kidding. It's Sinny Boo. Is number one the Sheik main? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't find the Minnesota PR anywhere. So <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> That's really funny. And we're already at Yeti. I think that chip damage. Nothing too big so far, but he's able to catch a lot of options that Napster's doing and uh, just find the right aggressive option. Doing good stuff so far. All right, boomerangs. Roma, I mean, Luma's up in the air, so he can afford to do that. There's no giant uh, or, I guess, little star in the way of the projectiles. Right now, Napster's winning the trades, gets that there on the ledge recovery, and right there, Yeti could have done anything, but instead he just waits it out, and then air dodges, and then Napster is able to get that next punish. So great play coming from Napster. Drag down fair into down smash. Also a very, very great move right there. All right, forward throw from Yeti. Opportunity to edge guard potentially. Oh my god, he just threw it out twice in a row. Once, fade back, do it again. Who cares? Get these kills. I'm, I, <laughs> I, I'm asking a lot of questions about that second forward smash. That didn't look like it should have hit, but you know what? Hey, uh, it happens. All right, there. It's an up smash. Yo. Yeti is one of those people that does, does not respect your options. He's just going in, man. Yeah, Yeti with a sizable lead right here. Working on lapping Nabster in percentage. Getting pretty close. Back throw. Uh, and even if he doesn't find the lap, he's got a lot of rage to work with, so he's going to kill... Extremely early. Oh my god. Pretty sure Bomb Fair oh. will kill yep. right yeah. about now. Absolutely. Oh. And Napster's having a really hard time trying to maintain that control. Guess that dash attack was still not enough to take the stock. I was expecting a neutral air right there. He actually went for it a little bit delayed. Got the lunar landing. Oh. <laughs> Boomerang right, in the clutch. Yeah, that was. Boomerang, you always come back, man. There All right, there's go. a down smash. Still not looking too good for, uh, excuse me, Napster. Look like this first stock might be Yeti's if he does not flub his recovery there, and he doesn't. He's going to make it back to the stage just fine. But it's a matter of Yeti being able to find his confirm. I think he's trying to, oh, okay. I didn't know that. Up throw gets rid of Luma just like that. <laughs> Hundred and eight percent on Napster right now. Oh, he's just looking for these air dodges. Napster not giving it to him. And he actually Wow, he got got on those up smash, but right before that, he got the bomb hit off the ledge. And he nearly confirmed that into the back air. His spacing was just a little bit off, but that was really, really great recognition from Yeti. I mean like I don't really see two links going for that sort of stuff. Yeah. And right there at the end, looked like he got that up smash, and then uh, he for he forced the fade back, and then was able to catch it again. So great stuff from Yeti, doing a lot of conditioning and catching Napster off guard. Napster gonna go immediately in with these up airs into the dare. See how long he can maintain his control for. Oh my God! Two hits, up air and up smash. <laughs> yep. That did whatever Napster was trying to do there in that uh, first stock. And just like a shooting star, Luma is out of there from that forward smash. Okay, making really good use of these Zares for zoning out Napster's approaches here. Taking on a lot of damage. Ooh, able to tether back to the stage. And Yeti doing a good job of catching these options. Gets that boomerang. Let's see what he does here to throw the bomb. Tries to find a favor grab, but a double roll from Master. Gets him out of that situation. Drag down fair into there, not quite. He's throwing out all these hitboxes, but yet yeah. he's just air dodging right at the right moment. Another pivot grab this time gonna land. 
Boomerang. Nope, not quite. And these, both of these players are actually like not air, air dodging until the last possible moment. That was Naster's moment yeah. to take out yep. the stock there. Miss Space just a little bit. Did not expect Yeti to go that high, I think. And right there, Yeti's going to be able to make it back to the stage and get that bomb to up air. Oh, that's going to take the stock. Sick. I mean, it's, it's been back and forth each time. I keep thinking one of these players is going to lose their stock. And they're just playing perfect evasion game down air from the ledge, actually cleaning it up there for Napster. Only 5% for Yeti to show. Four throw, Nair, not gonna get that back air though. Cuts the right option, but Yeti just air dodges right through while going high at the same time. Oh my god, dude. It's scary, Yeti just not afraid to put out these smash decks. Yeah, he's fearless, man. I mean, I feel like that's a Toon Link thing where this is like that four smash is so good and it's like, okay, I'll just throw it out. Yeah. I feel like a lot of them definitely like to try and abuse oh, yeah. that tool. Oh, right there, the Zare into the grab. Does not get rid of Luma, but still getting like, getting some damage on her. Might be able to get more moves to send her into tumble. That was a great call from that, sir, but not able to get a second up air to try and close out that stock. I feel like this should be dead. If he gets oh the right call, God. not quite. And I actually didn't know that Yeti saved his jump that entire time. Is that Fair? It? Not, not going to do it yet. Oh, that's it. <laughs> And GG's and a handshake.